Hello guys, good evening. Welcome back to my channel guys. Tonight guys, uh, I am doing my self-analysis line graph guys regarding the Taal Volcano Eruptions. I am doing this one guys for our safety also. I will analyze what's going on if there is an volcanic tsunami in Batangas area our safety is very important here in uh, below Batangas area guys because the Dasmarinas is the elevation is lower than the elevation of Batangas area and Tagaytay area uh, I will work overtime tonight. <laughs> okay, guys, uh, just follow my analysis line graph. Maybe it can help also some of our citizens out there if their locations or their property locations or house are safe or not. If there is a uh, numerous tragedy happen because we will not know what happens but still this is an analysis still we will pray because God knows all I'm doing research also about this elevation guys because it, we will base the elevation if something happen of the Taal volcano erupts and it will cause uh, volcanic uh, tsunami or some flying objects. I can check if here in the Marinas uh, will be affected, guys. Okay, guys, uh, follow me and I will show you. This is a sea level, zero elevation, then 14, Laurel, so Laurel is the first vulnerable for tsunami. So the highest elevation is Tagaytay guys, 592 meters, Tagaytay. So the lowest elevation is the one is, is vulnerable for volcanic tsunami guys or lava or stone or what is the, the, the horizontal explosion from the bul from tal volcano guys so this graph analysis guys It's very helpful to 
construct a conclusion if tal volcano will explode hazardously this is the wall of taal lake and this is the sea level now guys here is my uh, taal volcano volcanic tsunami hazard self analysis graph guys this one guys now uh, my area location guys is this marinas here 127 meters above sea level Das Marinas. This is our location, guys. And the water level of the Taal Lake is almost the same elevation. Water level of the Taal Lake is almost the same elevation with Das Marinas City, guys. But the Das Marinas City is safe guys because it is behind Tagaytay city behind Tagaytay guys Tagaytay is the highest elevation above sea level is 592 meters so this gas marinas behind the Tagaytay city so it is safe guys we are safe for for in case Tal volcano will ha will explode and it creates volcanic tsunami. So the municipalities that are vulnerable for volcanic tsunami are this one guys. Tanawan with 155.3 meters above sea level. Then Kanlobang Kanlobang with 141.5 meters above sea level. Then Agoncillo with 64.3 meters above sea level. Then Taal Municipality with 46.8 meters. Then The lowest uh, municipality, guys, is Laurel with 14.7 meters. So these are the municipalities or cities who are, who are vulnerable for tsunami, uh, volcanic tsunami, guys. This one. Five. Because Taal Lake is five meters above sea level. This is the sea level, guys. So, Taal Lake is 5 meters. Above sea level. And the deep, uh, maybe the minimum deep of the water deep of this uh, lake guys is 100 meters plus 100 meters so 105 meters above sea level this water level approximately guys or beyond or beyond so So, the Smarinya city is almost the same as the water level of the Taal Lake, guys. But, the Smarinya city is behind Tagaytay with 592 meters. So, Taal Lake is 
Agay uh, Dasmarina City is safe for volcanic tsunami, guys. This is my self uh, analysis, guys. For me to be uh, calm and safe, to be in peace, or what do you call that one, guys? Peace of mind. <laughs> so, this is my line graph, guys. Regarding Taal Volcano, Volcanic Tsunami Hazard Self-Analysis Graph. It is uh, drawn by me, date January 13, 2020, guys. So, I made this one, guys, just for me to uh, even uh, some uh, viewers this one maybe can help some viewers to be peaceful in mind peace in my mind because i make research regarding elevation above sea level of these uh, municipalities and cities so i gather this information guys this one guys and i make a line graph this one is the Taal Volcano Elevation, guys. 311 meters above sea level. So, in my uh, analysis, guys, if this Taal Volcano will, will erupt or explode, and it will throw stones or uh, lava horizontally, guys, from this horizontally stone and lava and uh, heavy stones or what do you call that one rocks or so it will hit only kalamba uh, wall uh, crater wall maybe because from tal volcano elevation is 311 and the tagaytay elevation above sea level is 592 the dip of this one guys we have the difference of 281 meters from the mouth of the Taal volcano guys and to the level of Tagaytay elevation is 281 meters so if the, if Taal volcano will explode horizontally maybe he can throw stone not above ta Tagaytay. So maybe it will level only Kalamba. Kalamba with uh, 315 meters above sea level. And Lipa, 312 meters above sea level. So that one guys, maybe he can throw like this, horizontally. The uh, rocks or stone, what do you call of this? Uh, I am not a vulcan volcanologist guys. So, this is my analysis, guys. And I hope you enjoy watching my video, guys. My self-analysis regarding hazard volcanic tsunami, guys. If it will happen, guys. Because uh, to be safe, I'm doing this uh, graph. Because my daughter, Dali, is uh afraid what will <laughs> what will happen if tal volcano will explode and creates volcanic tsunami so this one guys you can see guys or oh, you can see like this guys this is my self line graph guys and the distance guys from the mouth of Taal Volcano to Tagaytay wall crater wall or what do you call this one mountain wall is, is 10 kilometers guys from the mouth of Taal Volcano to Tagaytay Wall, 10 kilometers. 
So guys, uh, I hope you are enjoying watching this uh, video guys, video analysis guys, regarding Taal Volcano guys. Okay guys, thank you for watching and God bless.